I'm not putting too much in the lower ones because I want them to work together. You're strict. It's supposed to be a workout in Rich Mm-hmm. She's strict. If you could just like feed it to me, like so I don't have to touch it, that would be great. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another Waking Up in the Rescue Suit with Nico episode. Hope you got your coffee ready and are ready for some morning animal adventures. Guys, welcome to the Play Rescue Stream. We're gonna meet up with Alex today. We are gonna be doing enrichment with the raccoons and the coatis. Let's start today's Play Rescue Stream. Let's go outside and uh, hopefully meet some animals. We have two different enrichments we're doing today. First, we are going to meet up with the raccoons. We're back in time i think years back we built a special enrichment for them inside of the enclosure and then because the coatis are not in its outside enclosure yet he's really weak and we're gonna have a conversation about you know rescue animals and why he looks the way he does but he's inside of the tropical house so we need to figure out which one we're doing first i figure the first thing we should do is see if we can find alex because alex prepared something we need to not specifically build but something we need to be putting together before we can start the coatis enrichment. Oh, look, look, we can see the otters. Can you see him? He's like rolling around inside the window. They are currently locked in for the night. <laughs> he kind of just bonk. He was like mm. bonk. These guys are so happy about the new enclosure. <sighs> Sorry, Chad. <laughs> Don't ew me. Are you still dirty? Guys, we are doing enrichment with the coatis. The coatis as normally lives outside, but mm -hmm. he's getting very, very old. Yeah. He's an old boy and yes. he looks a bit different because he's an old boy. Yeah, but he was also a rescue as well. Special and beautiful. But yeah, he is getting older, so he can't handle the, the Danish winters anymore. So he comes into the tropical house and lives for a bit until the weather temperature is right for him. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing for him today? Well, for him, a good piece of enrichment. Now, I don't usually give it to him at this time of the day, but if this works, I think people will find it really, really funny. Because obviously, kawaii, uh, directly translated from Danish, is a nose bear. Because, <laughs> well, it's a type of bear, but their nose is very, very long. So obviously, so the canals, the chat, the in the nose area, mm -hmm. just like with dogs, how their dog, a dog's nose is designed like you know to like suck it in, but then like reverse itself and go in again, so they can really smell everything. It's the same with nose bears; they love stuff that smells. Mm -hmm. So with having like, a very channeled nose, then smelly stuff is amazing. So a good piece of enrichment is basically just taking a thick piece of cloth and then something that smells, smell. Who? <laughs> So, and um, obviously, as you can smell, it's very, very powerful. So I thought you could basically just stick a drop in each corner. And maybe just one in the middle as well. Oh, there you go, you did it. I'm technically pretending it's my first time. <laughs> I have not counted how many times no, I've yeah. done this enrichment. Mm. Just more so you know as well, mm -hmm. because obviously the temperature's getting better in here, I have moved a few monkeys around. So I've got a few different marmosets, and then I have one that's in a smaller living situation, but that's just at night in the day, she's running around everywhere. It's just so... So if people see yeah. small enclosures it's just because mix match rescue kind of quarantine yeah, setting together. Yeah. the goal is to set her together with the one that's next door but we're not at that stage yet but in the day because we can keep an eye on her she runs around in the entire tropical house another cool thing is mm -hmm. if it works we're gonna see him like use it as a perfume big washcloth like like put it on himself he he want to smell it on his tail you'll love it so as you guys should remember he is an old 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 boy we think they deserve a good and happy home still. So if he does look a bit different and a bit special and I'm missing a piece of fur, that is because you are watching a rescue channel with rescue animals. He might even be able to smell it already. <laughs> now he just came out of his little box there. So sometimes he's just got to get the brain working. You know? mm -hmm. Do, do, do. Let's see if we can get him down here so he doesn't fall down playing around with it. As far as I remember, you guys have had him for about 10 years. Yeah, something like that. He wasn't young when he got here. I mean, they're only supposed to live for about 10, 12 years. So he's doing really, really well. Basically. I feel like that's the case with all of animals. Like, this, they, they, they live double well, their age. You should see our emus have definitely overdone over the age. So 
So for some reason, the Quartish used to love these potent smells of some sort, and they love to like put them on themselves and use them as some sort of a, almost like a perfume, you could say. He definitely has a reaction to it. We do enrichment to stimulate the animals physically and mentally, especially when they are in captivity. And because our animals are rescue animals, they're usually older animals who have been through abuse, and they might only have a few good years left, but we think they deserve that. Perfect enrichment took you two seconds to make, and then he's loving it. We can see he's a bit slow and it takes a bit longer and he can't really roll around in it as he might would have done when he was younger. Was that enough? Is that enough fun for today? Or are you coming back? Second round. Oh, as you can see, he's very shaky. Snakey B says they deserve every minute they can get. He's having a good time and that's all that matters. Oh my God, look how much he loves it. Do we uh, let him enjoy himself? <laughs> what a successful little enrichment. Something that takes two seconds and as you can see, he activates and stimulates the animals. All right, let's give him some privacy. And dude, that minty thing, that's gonna, that's gonna sting if you put it there. I'm just saying. <laughs> Be careful, man. <laughs> right, that was awesome. Let's carry on and go down and meet the raccoons. All right, we can already see him peeking out. I doubt we are gonna see the female come out. She's a bit shy, but he is definitely anything but shy. Yeah. You're gonna see raccoon butt. I think if you just start smearing some of the honey on. So back in the day, we built some enrichment. This was one of them. Again, a simple thing, but we can put honey into the holes and they can spend some time on uh, exercising. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not putting too much in the lower ones because I want them to work together. You're strict. It's, a, it's supposed to be a workout enrichment. Mm -hmm. She's strict. I think they can smell like the mm. sweetness in it. See, like... <laughs> Not going after a specific area. Can I do a workout where I get candy when I succeed? <laughs> You're misunderstanding something. <laughs> well, then I'll just go to bed. You were so close, buddy. Yum, yum. There's more out there. Ew, I got it in my hands. <laughs> it's sticky. <laughs> is this the most spoiled raccoons we have ever seen? Oh, this is because they get all of the animals in the rescue get like masseuse therapy and special food and... Ew, I don't want... <laughs> if you could just like feed it to me like so I don't have to touch it that would be great You don't understand enrichment <laughs> Don't they have the bucket anymore? And uh, not at the moment because they're for because we've been having such icy cold winds hmm? So we've not been wanting them to get because these, these guys are up in age as well So we've not been wanting them to get wet fur and not be able to dry off again That's why behind you we have the two water bowls risen up so they can still wash their no, food if, I, I mean for poop Oh for poop? No, because they didn't use it Oh, I thought you were thinking of the bath because he likes to sit in there. Oh yeah, no, they do like the bath. No, I was just talking about like the litter box yeah, thing they yeah. used to have. No, we don't pet the animals. Raccoons are my spiritual animal. <laughs> they are cute. It takes more work figuring out if there's something else in the entire enclosure instead of just going after where he found it first. But he ain't getting much. Maybe this is his tactic. <laughs> to manipulate the keeper. Yeah, manipulating the keeper. See, he's looking directly at... She did it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I think he hates honey, definitely doesn't hate honey. No, because we do do another maneuver with them where we put them in like, when we cut the tops off the pineapples and we can put honey all the way in the center of that and they're actually really invested in those. Anything sugary. Yeah, but this is because this is encouraging, he knows what this is about so this actually encourages him to use his own muscles. He does not like honey, he's just lazy <laughs> like me. Yeah. Chris said. <laughs> yeah, like me too, don't worry. This is actually a perfect example of how sometimes people do hundred other different things yeah. instead of just going after just doing the work you know exactly. <laughs> visualizing real life here guys <laughs> you could just climb up it's gonna ha be hard and it's gonna suck but you're gonna get a reward or you could just like go all over the place and not go anywhere it works for us he's stimulated he's going everywhere he's not doing the same thing oh, look he is actually as quick as a bell when it comes to this sort of thing unfortunate thing she yeah see how smart she is she's <laughs> sleeping <laughs> okay going back to bed well thanks for coming out and saying hi <laughs> <laughs> all right alex semi successful enrichment with the raccoons well the good thing is the sun is up that late now that he will come out later on and do this because tomorrow true. there will be no honey there i promise you that hi guys and welcome to the youtube channel of the play rescue live stream where we are live streaming live from the first zoo and rescue center for exotic animals in denmark hope you're going to enjoy our daily adventures with all the 600 animals it was nico here take care guys